Hey Beach City fans, we're having a great morning here at Startup Nation Day 3. It's been a wonderful three days so far, but we've still got lots of coverage coming at you today from day four, hanging out here at Two Digital Park. And we've got one more day of awesome interviews, awesome insights. To kick us off this morning, I'm so excited to be speaking to my friend Kim, who's one of the co-founders of SmartLog. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. It's very my pleasure to meet you today. Yeah. So we are already having like super nerdy conversations this morning because like we're just ready to hit the ground running and just talk about the sort of the businesses worth having, the problems worth solving in yeah. Southeast Asia, right? Yeah. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, SmartLog, right? Because you guys are tackling a tricky industry in a tricky market. Yeah. So tell us about the challenges that SmartLog faces in its logistics. I see. Okay. Oh, uh, we found the company. Uh, five years ago, mm -hmm. 2015. We originally set up a matching platform for empty truck with the cargo. Mm -hmm. Then we destroyed that because it's not work. So we restart by setting the foundation. Okay. We have two foundations in logistics. Uh, number one is the transportation management system, mm -hmm. TMS. And the second is the warehouse management system. Right. Uh, so, ideally, TMS let us know whether a truck is empty or not, uh -huh. and the spec of the truck, like the cubic, the waste, uh, the location. Okay. Yeah. And second, warehouse management system allow us to know kinds of cargo, cargo flow, mm -hmm. in and out, and dimension, and the way everything. So imagine you have two things at the same time, you can provide a better matching. Right. So that's how we solve the problem of, okay. of MP return truck. So if I'm getting this right, originally you just wanted to be the middleman, the matching platform, and you wanted to provide this really awesome service. But then you realized you did not have the data yes. that you needed from your partners. And yes. so you said, okay, scrap the platform, we're going to work at solving the endpoints, like we're going to work at solving the problems experienced by the warehouse providers yes. and by the people who are managing the trucks, yes. and then we're going to come back towards the platform later, right? Yeah. 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 So so you're a co-founder of this business, right? And you're taking the lead in the marketing, yeah. right? So tell us a little bit about um, you know how you make decisions, right? How did you guys, how were you guys brave enough to, to be like, all right, let's blow it up, it's not working, right? How did yeah. you... How, how did you make the decisions about where to go in the business? Well, uh, it's just a, a journey. Uh -huh. We begin with the, the belief they are empty mm -hmm. of the solution of matching. Yeah. And later on, we recognize it's not work. Yeah. And it's a hard decision to solve the idea yeah. and we start. So the idea that led us to the, the issue is we feel pain yeah. with the truck driver. Yeah. I don't know whether how many people are really inside a truck cabin mm -hmm. because it's small, it's hot, the truck, drive, the truck driver had to be there 12 to 15 hours per day. Right. Even in peak season, he left the, his family for two or three weeks yeah. without return home. You know, he eat, oh, wow. he sleep, he do everything in the truck. That okay. Really stressful job. Right. So it's not just that the truck is gonna have a wasteful return journey that's wasteful for whoever's paying it and like wastes fuel. It's yeah. that he doesn't even come back. So there's a very human element to yeah, this human problem. Human element. That's wow. a problem. You know why? Because the the truck driver they not yet in the pay attention. Mm -hmm. In the media, we we saw the truck driver through accident new through bad news, like tap, like uh, right. something bad. Right. So we use now to recognize the truck driver as a key element for the logistics. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm in the truck, I've talked with many truck drivers. Yeah. I feel the pain. Yeah. So my dream is how can we change the situation? How can yeah. we improve life of truck driver? So that's the motivation that we want to change yeah. the industry. So. To me, this is so inspirational because with Beach City, one of the conversations we like to have is what are the problems worth solving? Yeah. And what's very interesting to me in Southeast Asia is these are 
often very difficult problems, right? Because sometimes uh, the technology isn't there, the processes aren't there, the logistics, the background stuff isn't there, and so it, you have to work harder to actually build it. Yes. So I love that you guys are so inspired and so passionate yeah. uh, about like solving problems for real people, right? Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. makes you go through that very hard journey. Yeah, right. So, can you tell us then, like, um, what's the experience like building? Because your company is based in Vietnam, right? Yeah. But if you guys solve this problem well, you can roll out this platform not just for Vietnam, right, but for like the whole region and like really take things big, right? Um, you were telling me you guys are getting ready to like be, be a unicorn, right? You know that this is a big market. Yeah. So, what are your aspirations? What are you as a Vietnam company looking at the world and seeing? Okay. Well. Uh, we talk about the, the potential of the market. So mm -hmm. Vietnam logistics expand is about sixty percent of GDP, mm -hmm. and okay. about seventy percent of that fall into transportation. Right. And among of that transportation, uh, mainly road transportation, mm -hmm. account for about sixty to seventy percent. So roughly, we can say the the market of transportation account for about five billion annually. Right. And it grow. 10-15% annually, so the MPV truck affect at least 1 million. Yeah. So we try to, to eliminate waste in the uh -huh. logistics by connect the cargo with the MPV return truck. All right. And that's the problem happened similar in Thailand, yes. Indonesia, in Philippines and Malaysia. Imagine there are truck from Thailand distribute the cargo into Vietnam and usually MPV return. Mm -hmm. We can also help that to solve that problem yeah. in, in in whole Asian region. Right. So that aspiration. And secondly, in Vietnam, there are still no logic uh, unicorn yet. Yeah. Yeah. And in other in other country like China, they have Mang Bank. In India, they have Rivigo. In US, they have convoys. All of them are a unicorn already. Right. So right. we have our uh, aspiration that, that the history give us the chance to be the first uh, Vietnamese company to be valued as one billion. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's this it. is wonderful. Yes. So you all guys have a social passion. Right, you want to make social impact in your business, yes. but it's also a business, and you know awesome. that this is a huge opportunity, right? Yes, yes. So there's win, 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 yes. all around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The trucking company happy, the truck driver happy, the cargo owner happy, and env env environmental, we yes. reduce the, yes. the environment impact. So I believe that uh, it's a big dream, and we are very passionate to do that. That is super. So we're hanging out here at True Digital Park, talking to the people who are really going to make an impact in the future. I think I'm so inspired by seeing what we're gathering here, the talent that we're gathering here. Yeah. We're connecting in Thailand, but we're really talking about solving not just regional, but yeah. global problems. Thank you so much for your time today, Kim. Can I talk a quick one, uh, last one? Yes, this our, is, last, our last sign-off message. Have, yeah. I want to show, I, I, I call this, uh, I am a truck driver. Uh -huh. So I wear the hat and I write a campaign. I want to offer the hat to one million of truck driver mm -hmm. in Vietnam for free, okay. just to respect their contribution to the, the logistic industry. Awesome. So if I can do that, I feel very happy. Yeah. yeah. That's this why is I so always wonderful. Wear, I always wear the hat with me in any occasion. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to have more heartwarming, inspired, and very clever and strategic conversations here at True Digital Park on day four of Startup Nation.